17 families are still cramped in this battered tank in Reserva Hills, resulting in children contracting diseases. There are other 10 such places around Durban. About 2,000 people were displaced during the April floods. Houses and infrastructure were destroyed and 70 lives were lost. The damage was estimated at around 658 million rand. A broken promise from government side now means victims are still living in the aftermath of a disaster that happened six months ago. People bath in basins and throw water here, and that causes children to get germs, and others end up being seriously ill. Children play here during the day. There has been unfulfilled promises for so long, but we are thankful that in the end there's something being done now. The long-awaited aid only arrived in the form of building material to assist the erection of destroyed shacks. We are really sorry. We apologize it took so long. We are working on our systems to ensure that it never takes this long. This is one of the communities that we are going to be helping. The municipality also promised that some flood victims will be moved to RDP houses from next year. Vusi Kumalo, SAPC News, Deb.